everybody standing ovation back again with another break and this time i got series two tens retail the, the hunt for bedard continues in the retail format i had some fun ripping open some of my hobby boxes last night on release day today's the day after release day i picked these all up at the same time on my trip across the water i am currently on the west coast of canada and i had to travel across the house sound nope my my picture down below i don't know if it's named after gordy howe but at any rate i had to travel across the house sound to get on ferry go over to nanaimo meet up with sports card bill and ralph up in qualicum beach at ralph's collectibles both those guys are great guys i do i do a lot of my shopping there it's just a different feel for sports card collection on the mainland as it is on the island anyway here we go series two retail obviously the hunt for bedard continues uh you can't get the golden outburst out here in this so you're not going to get the jackpot million dollar card but you can still get the silvers outbursts are in here hobby they're one in 15 packs retail they're one in 45 packs so you get eight packs which means that roughly one in every full five and a half tins will give you an outburst but there's no guarantee it's going to be a young guns it could just be an outburst and there's 250 of them you get the orange dazzlers let's open that first there's there is red colors and dazzlers so here we go yeah, they're orange. Yeah, and you can get red. That's right. Orange and red are in retail. And the greens are, I think they're in the blasters. We'll find out because coming up after this, I got a blaster break coming up. But uh, we'll see what happens here first. Oh, hey, I'm sitting here going on yammer yammering and I'm looking at a nice orange Dazzler. Very first card in the break. Hello. Connor Bedard. Orange Dazzler with a Jamie Benn. DZ79. That's funny, I'm not even paying attention. Okay, well, we got a red one with a D-Boss still in Larkin. That is a cool card for color match. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Okay, well, Dazzlers look way better this year. They've made them better each year. That looks cool, but that looks even more cool. I'll see if I can do a little research before I put this video up and you can put the current sale price of this card right here in the video somehow. but I, I'm not using probably the best software to do it. So drop some tips below. I do your editing. What, what, what's the best video editor? I use a PC, I don't use the Apple. Here we go. Pack one out of a retail tin. These things are selling for at about 150 a tin. Uh, I, again, I'll have to check that invoice on the price, but that's roughly where I'll be selling them. Plus shipping, of course, that'll add another. I don't know, like 15 bucks on, maybe 165 free shipping will be my price, but let's not worry about that now. Tap the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, check out all my other videos. Let's go, more Bedard. We've already got one. The base cards, I'm not gonna call them out. Well, some of them I might. Bobby McMahon, Young Guns. I like seeing him. I've seen him score some goals this year for the Leafs. I watch most of the Leaf games. There's Ehlers looking kind of like Look at the stare he's got on him. Okay, well, whatever. Base, no, nope, it's a canvas at the back. Logie, Logan Thompson. The Knights are blostering the roster. They picked up uh, Anthony Manta. They just got Noah Hannafin making a push for a Stanley Cup team to face off against Colorado. They also picked up some guys today. PC, Johnny Goudreau, Johnny Hockey. He's not, what, he's 26 or maybe 27. He's not super young. Or to 96. I like getting Leaf rookies. I already got Minton. Now I got McMahon. It says Young Guns regular one and two. Okay. Because I thought it was one and three. It's in series one, I think it was one and three. Okay, well, that's cool. We're going to get four Young Guns out of a tin. Well, that's good for the price you're paying. You, you should have four shots. At... I love this card. If you don't know already, I like collecting base cards of Goldie Mass cards because if it's an insert, well, then it costs too much to collect. But these are so easy to put aside, and I got a whole bunch of them now. Spencer Knight. See, now that's a good goalie card, but it's not too much. Like, I need a close up of the mask. So I'll wait till Upper Deck does it, because you know they will. There's the puck. Mitchie Marner. He fell down. Sam Samuel Knazko. The common name Knazko. Knazko. Okay, I forgot the base at the back. Amadio. Amadio. Amadio? Amadio. Don't know. Instinctive. Basilevsky. You got a, a Fanasaya. Okay. Carry on. Uh, 
Madame Henrique, who has just been treated. Ah, oh, Madonna. Hey, Rob. I can't break the cards in the right spot yet. I'm, I'm, I don't have that dexterity. More. Pellick. J Rob again. Hmm. There's two J Robs in this pack. Director of the boards, Tenor G Not. And Outburst. Humid King, Outburst Young Guns. Now that is what I'm talking about. Out of a retail tin, when you pay top dollar for these tins, like they are expensive compared to other years. Humid McGing, McGing, McGing. I don't know. I watched that. The, the, uh, there's a new channel guy. If you haven't watched him already, check out John Luke Bedard. He's a really good editor, and he knows all these guys. Like he's a good hockey guy. I'm learning stuff from him. But apparently, he's on his want list, but I don't know where he. Where's, what's he all about? Where do you play? It just says blues. From Chicago. Yeah, I guess he likes his Chicago guys. So there you go. Young Guns out first. And a Bobby McMahon. This this is a win already. But I... Like, what else? How could it go any worse? Well, I could fail opening this pack like I just did on camera. Don't laugh. Stop laughing. Oh, bad at this. So where's a deep roots, Willie? I like the fact there's a bunch of Maple Leafs in this subset. Show me your willies. Nylanders, that is. I don't need... Oh my gosh. Okay. Now, I watched Billy on the Gong Show podcast, who got upset because everybody was calling him pixelated. Or, I don't know, I was calling him foils, but apparently they're just sparkle. That's It's a sparkle parallel. Trent Frederick, tough guy, and a Young Guns of Ty Emberton. Emberson. Why did they get on the card? Okay. They're talking about that on the podcast, and I agree. It would be cool to be, like, somehow randomly just in the back of a hockey card. Say of, like, you know, somebody really big, too. Like, you're somehow in the background of Connor Bedard. Like, Patrick Kane when he's a kid on that Sylvain Turgeon card from 94-95 Pinnacle. I didn't even discuss the OPG Glossy, which is silver. They were copper in the first series. Now, is that a parallel? We'll find out. Yeah, they're silver in the series too. Maddie to Chuck. And what's behind Maddie to Chuck? We got another base. Cam Fowler. Looks like a. What is this? Uh, oh, it's an eclectic, eclectic. And a portrait. Nuge. You get a lot of inserts out of a tin. That is the good part. With the three inserts per pack, or young guns and inserts, eight packs, you do end up with a good pile of inserts. I had a nice future watch auto patch of him. Sold it for less than 50 bucks. Like, that's what you can find on some of these guys that aren't big superstars. A future watch auto patch that was three colors. Nathan, Nathan, I think it sold for like 40 bucks, maybe even 35. That's Canadian money too, so the Americans, that's like 10 bucks. Got a gold glossy. Okay. Well, that, yeah, there's gold and copper in Series 1, I guess gold and silver in Series 2. Devin Levi. Percy Kemper, a couple of goalie inserts. I don't know why I didn't want to stand him up. It's because the camera's like right in that view when I'm sitting here. I, I put cards down there and then they're like, they're gone. Out of sight, out of mind. That's a cool splash card. Pouring the water down his neck. Degazio. De Del Gaz See, Mark Del Gazio. You know, I could have studied the checklist in advance and tried saying some of these names. Deep Roots. The Bread Man. I don't study. I never did, and that's probably why I work with my muscles all of my life, and not with my brain. I've got Bobby all by himself on his own stand. All you other guys get one stand. You can crowd in there. It's like they're all in the penalty box on that stand. There, but I have another break coming up with a tin, a hobby box, and a blaster, and a try all three in one break. I'm gonna do a threesome. Oh, what? Oh, those dirty thoughts come back from time to time. Hagee, he fell down too. Leo Dreisaitl, Sparkle, Cole Caulfield, Cliptic, and Simon Edmondson, Superstar. First 10, rocked. Power of editing. Hopefully, I've sped this video up to be shorter than 
a half an hour, holy cow. All right, here we go. Box two, tin two. Starting off again with the Dazzlers. Can't see how that'd go any better. It'd be cool to get the red. That red Bedard would look really cool as a Dazzler. I got Verhage, no red in this pack. Drew and Brain Point. Just a typical Dazzlers pack. Three oranges, no Bedards, no reds. Very Kesselring, Kesselring, Young Guns, with a Barzal and a Vander Kane. What's it say on there? Can I have a puck? Apparently, he's giving away pucks. Kesselring, pile. These packs for a tin retail tin pack, they feel so fat compared to other years. All that long ago, I was opening a 1920 tin retail tin. The packs are like half as thick as these. There's some girth to these. Hey, it's upside down. That, in the competitor's world, is a good sign, but in Upper Deck's world, that just means something happened. Or in the packaging, because it doesn't signify anything special. It's Thatcher Demko, but there's Owen Beck's Gold Glossy, and Nikita Nesterenko Superstar, and an Instinctive Helia Suru. Okay, that was totally uncalled for. Okay, I'll have to give myself two minutes for roughing. Checklist again, it's the upside down card syndrome. Okay, well I got a Deep Roots, Lawson Kraus. Damon Hunt, Marshand. And Kopitar PC, Damon Hunt. And who he is, like a lot of these young guns, Damon Hunt. More upside down card. Let's look at the ecliptic, ecliptic PD. Adam Fantilli makes an appearance. He's not in until the extended series, till his young guns come out. Coronado. This will be the best year of extended that they've done, I, I would say. By design, I'm pretty sure they realized they gotta save a few guys for the checklist. Got a friend here. And Emil Andre. Sweden. And Jack Hughes with Sean Farrell. I was watching another break. Somebody gave a bit of info on him, but I don't remember. And then I'd just be regurgitating somebody else's video anyway. A lot of guys in this I haven't seen. I haven't seen a Zach Benson. I haven't seen a. Um, well, I don't know who I haven't seen because I haven't seen them. Matty Beneers Glossy. The Austin Matthews Click Dick. I like that card. Don't know why. I don't know. I just like the design. Josh Morrissey. Canvas card with a base of Michael Rasmussen. Last two packs. This should have a Young Guns maybe. Or maybe it will be the last one. We'll see. That's this pack. Let's save it because it might be. It could be. Second last pack. Or last pack, depending on how you look at that. So I just swapped it out. Capri's off. Hiding the rest of the base, which really, at this point. There we go. Capri's off with portraits of Luke Hughes. It's looking like uh, Doctor Who in that suit. A deep Roots, Marchand, Instinctive, Vasilevsky, and Young Guns, Volteri Morella. Well, out of those two tins, clearly the first one was the best one. The other Young Guns I got, Kesserling, Damon Hunt. I think an Emil Andre is the guy you'd be like happiest hitting, but I don't know. I'm Oh, the second box, pretty standard, or the box one, box two was... Great hole, huh? I got the Verhage, Point, and Drew. Deep Roots, Kraus, Marchand. Luke Hughes on the portraits. A sparkle instinctive of Vasilevsky, but two regulars. Sorokin and Kuh. Who did I get? Kochkev. Two regular ecliptics, Petey, Matthews. Three of the PCs. 
Barzal Kopitar Jack Hughes. OPG Glossy, I got three silvers and one gold on back, which is a rookie insert, and then the three superstar honor rolls, Esperanko, Coronado, Farrell, two canvases out of that box, Kane and Morrissey. First box clearly had the better hits with Bedard, Larkin, McGing out first. With uh, Nugent Hopkins portraits, the two board directors were, were the Sparkle, Frederick and the Janot. Deep Roots, Nylander and Carlson. PCs, Goudreau and Panarin, Instinctives, Kemper and Vasilevsky, Ecliptics. Clayton Keller with Sparkle, Cole Caulfield, that's a cool card. And three of the superstar honor rolls, nice Levi there with Edmondson and Afanasayev. Three glossies again, the silvers, J. Rob, tries to to Chuck with the gold, Caprice off. Only one canvas in that one, but it was Logan Thompson, so there's that. The McGang, the Bedard, great box. And a few more young guns. Bobby McMahon, my personal favorite in that bunch. Thanks for watching. Tap that like button. I'll be back with another one. I got the blasters. I've got another tin and I got a hobby box. So I'm gonna put all three in one video. That'll be probably the next video. I may take a break because I do have, uh, I, I, I picked up some more clear cut too, which might happen. But in the meantime, keep on collecting.